Good afternoon. Welcome to 2022. We're up here at the parking garage at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Hope you're all having a great uh, start to the week, the end of the holidays, and everyone had a great uh, and safe and fun New Year. Frontier 634. Inbound from Denver. Supposed to be uh, heading to Washington's Reagan, DCA, diverting here to Cleveland. Not sure what's up with that. Nice. Haven't been up here in about a week. Um, I'm in the back of the building with a first class. United has had a ton of flight cancellations. I know it's been in the news over the last couple of weeks. Really impacting Cleveland. We've lost probably 30 United flights a day. Uh, several cancellations today, including a special livery that was supposed to be here. So that's a little disappointing. But we're going to catch a wh whatever we can catch today. It's Miracle the Seagull. Afternoon, Got another frontier. I hope that seagull is not too nervous because this is Steve the Bald Eagle. Bald eagles eat <laughs> the seagulls. Ah, yes, the symbol of our freedom right there, the bald eagle. LJ 369, climb and maintain 14,000. Probably my favorite of spirits animal liveries. I love that airplane. A321. <laughs> Haven't got a chance to clear out some of the stations yet. Heading over to the de-icing pad. Bald Eagles have made a uh, pretty awesome recovery in the United States over the last 20 years or so. They were almost extinct. Um, the protection measures are going into play to help uh, try to recover their population. And especially here in Northern Ohio, there are hundreds of bald eagle nests in Northern Ohio now, which is awesome. Um, I, had, I never saw a, a bald eagle in the wild until just a couple years ago, and now I see them all the time. Uh, hopefully in a couple weeks we're going to head up to uh, one of the wildlife refuges in, in northern Ohio that's famous for their bald eagles, and they have dozens of bald eagle nests up there. So I hope to take the camera and maybe I'll bring put that on YouTube too. I'll show you some of the some of our northern Ohio's bald eagle population if you're interested in that. They are beautiful birds. No NFL charter this weekend, of course, because the Browns are playing the Pittsburgh Steelers tonight uh, in Pittsburgh, and they usually take a bus, so they will not be flying there. Uh, the Bengals won their game yesterday. Congratulations to the Bengals and the uh, AFC North teams. This means the Cleveland Browns season is over. Which unfortunately, means we won't see any more NFL flights. We should see one next week for the Bengals, but other than that, we're about done with the NFL charters for the year. Delta 1691, inbound from Atlanta. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> inbound from Atlanta. Should be an E321. My goal today is not to get hurt. The parking lot up here is a sheet of ice. Light snow, it's supposed to be a little bit more snow this afternoon. Another, uh, another gray afternoon. It's your de icing. Did get a little bit of snow last night, probably about a half inch or so. 
There's probably a little bit of ice spilled up on those wheels. It's another unusual frontier flight for us. It's 9280. And they're about from Philadelphia. So we have two unusual frontier flights. Already the one. Seen this one a few times, it's Verdi. CRJ land. Um, right after that frontier came in, I just kind of came over to. Let's take a look at that. It's a bit ready to pull in now as an American CRJ. Um, as Spirit heads over to be de-iced. Sorry, I missed that one. This side of the nose looks okay. And I jumped in my car to check flight radar because I know there is a, uh, a United 737 Max that's due in in the next couple of minutes. I wanted to make sure it was, wasn't the one that was inbound. And I missed it. Eagles, owls. 
Snowy owls are common this time of year. I have not seen one yet, but they are pretty common up here. Well, he's light. Concourse, but there's a United 737 parked in here. I think it's the one that needs to head the nose job. That's unusual. Unusual to see an airplane over here. They're usually parked over here at sea. There's a lot of empty gates, a lot of flight cancellations the last couple weeks. Hate to see that. To Chinook the Great Wolf heading over to the ice. Meanwhile, when that's going on, we have United Airlines 445. There he is. A 737 Max 8 inbound from Houston. IEH. United Maxes are still fairly rare. We do get usually one flight a day for Newark in the morning. We'll probably count on one hand how many max eights have been here for the United States. Smells so good. Now I'm getting a whiff of jet fuel. <laughs> the back of the over here for the ice savers. Spirit Frontier, the United Express. today. Now six left is closed. So all inbound and outbound flights are here on six right. I saw they were using the sixes this morning. I thought about going over Heartland because we get really up close shots of landing aircraft. Um, especially when the Star Wars plane was supposed to have been here, but unfortunately that flight canceled. Um, 
But I'm glad I didn't go over there because usually the right side I wouldn't see anything. Spit 252 inbound from Atlanta. So I was looking at my at the uh, scanner here. And what it sounds like happened was that Frontier flight that diverted in about 45 minutes ago, maybe an hour ago now. Um, there was a passenger disturbance on that flight. Somebody was vaping on the airplane, and that might be why it diverted in. Because it's been parked over here. Never went to a gate. It's kind of been parked over here on a ramp. I guess it did go to. I guess it did go to E10. But, um, I think that might have been what happened. Was somebody was being dumb on the airplane and didn't bring it in. Fifteen, nineteen, hundred and four miles. Just talking, still talking about that bird strike. Set down. Uh, check the airplane. So we might have actually missed it. You know, I just flew near, but might not actually hit the, hit the airplane because they're saying they can't find it. Anymore. My, my favorite of the business jets, a Golf Stream. Why am I not focused on? Check out that paint scheme. Frontier 1049 heading to sunny Florida, Orlando, MCO. We'll spend a week at Disney World. Play on the beach. Maybe they'll go to Universal and ride the Coaster. I'm so jealous. Very high on my bucket list. Maybe later this year, maybe things will go well and we'll get to Florida and ride the Coaster. Another golf stream landing on six right. I know it's going to customs. The yeah, United 737 rolls out. Thanks for the counter, we'll fix that quite a point. Seventeen heading to Houston, George Bush Intercontinental Airport. Back one, 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 one,
737-800 in the new Evo Blue livery. Hey, look what we found. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's our Star Wars special livery. I didn't know. That was uh, supposed to be here for Tampa today, but the flight was canceled. Uh, apparently, it's been here the whole time sitting in the maintenance here. Check that out. Honestly, did I expect to see that today? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to land today. Yeah, we did. We got a flight got canceled. I didn't expect to see it today. I'm like, whoa, look at that. In case you're saying, ah, oh, there's no way he made that up. No, really. <laughs> Flight inbound for Tampa was canceled. So I honestly did not expect to see that today. And almost on time. How about that? Looks like they're taxiing over here. So we actually might get to see this thing take off today. No idea what flight number or where they're going. If it's leaving today or anything, but. Wait, 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 wait. Call you up. Call me at five. United does have a 737 maintenance base here in Cleveland, which is really why we see so many uh, their special liveries uh, that they have painted on their 737s, including why we see this one quite a bit. Honestly, not know it was here. If I had known it was here, I probably would have gone over uh, towards the maintenance hangers, but I think it came out the back door, so I don't know if I would have seen it anyways. The rise of Skywalker. The Force is with us today. Kind of a fun fact, if you go into the uh, Smithsonian, uh, we saw that X-Wing fighter at the Uvar Hazi Center this summer. It's going to go on display in the uh, main museum at the mall later this summer. Um, that is the X-Wing fighter from The Rise of the Skywalker, the last Star Wars movie. So that actual movie prop, we've seen it this year. Kind of a fun fact. Uh, two pop -up it looks like you're 10 degrees right of the airport, which works perfectly for this flight present heading. Oh, yep. Yeah. Thrilled to see that. I really... I didn't know the flight was canceled until I got up here, so I was bummed that I wouldn't see it anyways, and then... Here it is. So, surprise visitor. Should be heading out today. Check that out. The Rise of Skywalker. Special livery, uh, 20 year old 737. United T005 inbound from uh, Fort Myers, Florida. RSW. Is that a, uh, is a ramp car? Or maybe it's just how loud that Max is starting out. It's a loud sound. Seven taxi out. Definitely cold today, but it looks like it's trying to clear up a little bit. Here's our 737 Max 8 getting ready to depart. You can see the uh, the shark tail like winglets, and then on the engine, you can see the uh, Kind of the scallops in the back. It's another really good way to tell a Max versus an NG is the shape of the engines. The Chevrons are actually developed at the Glenn Research Center, which is on the field here for NASA. 
was a way too quiet aircraft engines. Yeah, if you look at the shape of the winglets on the Max versus the Star Wars plane in the background, which is an older 737, you can definitely see a difference in the shape. taking off here in the next couple minutes. It's very quiet. Typically I can hear them accelerating at that point, but I can hear this Delta CRJ that's actually pretty far away from me, but I cannot hear the Max. Very quiet airplane. rolling in. So we'll see both of them here in a bit. Six heading to Dallas Fort Worth DFW. So have a Frontier and a Delta heading out to the runway. Four twenty-five heading to Fort Myers, ISW. It's very, very deep. Three twenty Neo, I believe. I believe it's a Neo. I remember right? It's a Neo. Frontier is giving me some great shots today. Great selection of aircraft. Stealing a show today. Delta 1691, our uh, A321, is heading to Atlanta. Uh, Max 8 has finished the icing and heading that way too now. See it in the frame here in a second. There it is. Airlines 1859 heading to Newark. It's our uh, Max 8. Everyone. 
Southwesterly has cut back. I don't know if they're having cancellations or what, but but no Southwest flights, and we're not supposed to get one here for about two more hours. United Airlines 1767. Uh, this is a diversion inbound from Denver. It's supposed to land at Washington's Reagan National. I just pulled up the radar for the Washington DC area. They're under a winter storm warning. Uh, every flight into and out of DCA is canceled. That airport is actually closed right now. It looks like Dulles on the north side of town is okay, but DCA in downtown Washington DC is closed due to the weather right now. Actually, surprised this did not divert to Dallas. It makes more sense to divert to the other side of Washington D.C. than to bring it all the way up here. But maybe that's what they'll do: is fly it to Dallas. Yeah, Washington D.C.'s Reagan National is completely closed right now due to weather. Uh, I checked to see maybe we'll get any more diversions, but every flight into and out of that airport is canceled. So I don't think. I don't think there's really anything else still in the air that's gone to DC yet. But to keep an eye out, I guess. Maybe we'll get a couple IAD diversions too if the weather changes or if that airport decides to to move flights to try to reduce congestion. Keep an eye out. Did reopen runway six left. That play looks like it needs a paint job. Here's our diverted in uh, 737. Boy, that airplane needs some love. Look at the scuffs all over the front end of it. So it needs a paint job. Frontier 2414 inbound from Phoenix, Arizona. Just check the National Weather Service. Washington, D.C. has about eight inches of snow right now. So that is why uh, DCA is closed as they try to clear the runways. Dulles has about four inches, so they're still uh, clearing the runways but getting by. Uh, they have several flight cancellations there. Uh, but the airport is open. And then uh, BWI, Baltimore, Washington, is having heavy snow and cancellations there, too. So uh, we'll keep an eye out for diversions. But it looks like all flights in and out of DCA are canceled. I don't know, maybe we'll see some flow diversions from IAD or uh, BWI. We'll keep an eye out. It's a lot of snow overnight. Eight inches of snow in Washington, D.C. You can tell up here in Cleveland, Ohio, not much. There's a little bit of snow in the parking garage that I'm standing in and a little bit on the grass. But I mean, we're only talking a half inch, maybe. It's our old friend Courtney to Cougar. A321, it just came in from Phoenix. Yeah, but you can tell down here by the uh, departures and arrivals, uh, there's a little bit of snow. But really just kind of a trace to a dusting. Nothing heavy up here. Actually, at one point last week, Phoenix had more snow than we've gotten up here in Cleveland so far. So, we'll take it. Has not been a cold winter. Today, last couple of days have been in the 20s, but other than that, it's been pretty warm. 40s and 50s, even Christmas Day, New Year's Day. Definitely been a warm start to our winter. All right, we got the end of an era. Allegiant 1582 inbound from Punta Gorda. This is the last inbound Allegiant flight. So barring a diversion, this is the last time we'll see Allegiant Airlines up here at Cleveland. They are going to do uh, operations at Akron Canton Airport starting in March, which is about an hour or so away from here, so not that far away. Um, so the Northeast Ohio area will still be served by Allegiant, but this is the last Allegiant flight here at Cleveland Hopkins. A320.
about to do any kind of ceremonial um, fire truck spray or anything, but I don't know, we'll keep an eye out. Probably not a good idea when it's this cold anyways. The end of an era for a legion up here at Cleveland Hopkins. Star Wars 737 is pushing back. It's had a little bit of a lull <laughs> over the last 20 minutes or so. Wish I was on the other side of that. I bet the lighting is awesome. On the left hand side of that airplane, right over well, I'm on the wrong side, the lighting is behind the airplane. I wish it was behind me. A little smoke cloud behind him as they start the engines. Here in the next five minutes or so, you should have good lighting. May the force be with you. It's New Year 2022. I sure hope so, because 2020 and 2021 haven't been a lot of fun. So let's hope for. Brightest skies here in 2022. American 1464 Airbus A321 inbound from Phoenix. This is now a permanent flight. It's usually a seasonal flight, but American has extended it at least through June. So we have American United and South American United Southwest and Frontier all on the Phoenix flight. Three hours, we still have not seen a Southwest arrival or departure here this afternoon. Star Wars heading out to the runway. We'll get a departure here in the next couple minutes. I guess this has been sitting in a hangar all night. It probably doesn't need to be the ice, huh? We'll get them to partying soon. They'll be heading to Fort Lauderdale. Meanwhile, down here we have an American CRJ and an E 175 city outside the gates ready to come in. How about this? The sun has come out. Beautiful right now. Still cold, but beautiful sky is broken. Sunshine. First time I've seen sunshine in 2022. As United Airlines 405 lands on runway six left. They're inbound from Denver. So the sun is now like directly in my eyes and I point this way. So we're losing for a second, I apologize. United 
360 heading to Fort Lauderdale. I think it was flight 360. I didn't get a chance to look. Should be the United Star Wars plane. I about missed it. Coming out of the sun. South to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Sorry, about to out so much as the sun was directly over my screen. I couldn't really see it. Well, this is unusual. American is bringing the A321 over here. This is not that unusual. C737s over here. But usually they're on the other side of the terminal, so we'll take it. And we are facing directly into the sun. From Newark. The sun would go back behind the clouds as soon as the Star Wars plane landed. It's still out, but it's just behind the clouds. So at least I can see this way now. So bad it was so bumpy because I know everyone's excited to see that. But I honestly I can't see it. I have my one eye covered with my hand and I'm just trying to guess where it's at and I'll get a glimpse of it. So one thing about the digital screens is that when you get the, the sun's in the wrong spot, it can be really hard to tell where things are versus shooting through a viewfinder. Spirit 534. It's an old livery A320 inbound from Orlando, MCL. I much prefer the old livery over the new livery. You can't miss the yellow school bus anywhere, but this is a little bit more, a little bit more conservative, but definitely, I think, a little bit more festive too, with the the green, yellow, blue, and red stripes on it. Classy looking airplane. Anybody got rid of this little? But you certainly can't miss 
still screwing up by saying they fly over him. It is about time to call it a day from up here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Hope you all enjoyed the video today. I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve, New Year's Day celebration. Uh, we'll be back up here again later this week to do some more plane spotting. Really appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you're just lurking and haven't hit that subscribe button already, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below. I uh, love to interact with everybody. So i uh, got some cool things going on this year. Can't wait to share that with everybody. Um, but most importantly, just really appreciate your support. And uh, we'll catch you again next time up here from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Have a good night, everybody.